Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about different colors in chemistry and how to interpret them by quantum model. As you see here, in this slide, we have a variety of color in visible light. So it's a start from this side, red color. Then we have orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. So we are going to know how we can find the variety of the colors in chemistry. So assume that we have a diagram of elements like this one. So shell number one, shell number two, three, four, five. So I'm sure you already watched other videos regarding the information regarding shell, subshells, and orbital. So I'm going to focus on first shell, shell number one. We call shell number one ground energy level or ground state. So ground energy level or ground state, this is the another term we use for shell number one. If we are going to talk about other shells and greater than one, we call them excited shells or excited states or excited energy level. So in, let me write that one, excited energy level, or they are going to work on excited states. What does that mean, excited states, ground states? When we have photons in the atoms, like one example here, photons, photons can gain or lose energy. So I'm going to work on these two terms. They can gain, absorb energy. They can release or emit energy. Photons. So we already talked about photons in other videos as well. So two behaviors we may have for photons. They may gain energy and they may release energy. In other words, I'm going to report this electron or photon as a sample study and see how it works. If electrons gain energy or absorb energy, they can travel to higher energy level. What does that mean, higher energy level? We need to know if N increases energy for each shell increases. What does that mean? It means if we have shell number one, shell number two, shell number three, energy for shell number one, E1, energy for shell number two, E2, and for third shell, E3. So by increasing N, N increases, shell number increases, it means energy for that specific shell increases. So E3 is greater than E2 and E2 greater than E1 and is going to be continued. So always higher energy levels means higher shell number. If photons gain energy, they can travel to higher energy level. So let me have like this one. You know what does that mean when we have like this. So from the lower energy level, they travel like a wave and they have higher energy to higher N. Example for that from, for example, N2 to N4. When it happened, when we do have gaining energy, absorbing energy by photons. So when photons gain or absorb energy, they move from lower energy level to higher energy level. We call this process, we call this process excitation. Excitation. So electrons, or in other words, photons, excited. They are excited. They gain energy, they absorb energy, and they move to higher energy level. When they move to higher energy level, they are unstable. At that time, they are unstable. And they want to move back and be stable. So 
Look, assume that electron or photon are here. They are going to back here. So we have some possibility. They move back to this shell number. They move back to this shell number or back to other ones. So it depends. So I'm going to say that one. When electrons want to move back, they want to back to the lower energy level from higher energy they need to have like this example for example I'm gonna say shell number four move to shell number three like this example at this time we call that relaxation relaxation during relaxation they release or they emit energy they emit energy what does that mean it means they are going to make one form of energy we call that light and we have a variety of color for light so they have light emission so they produce color so during the relaxation when they lose their energy they are going to produce light or in other words color so we always have like these two terminology if we have excitation means they absorb heat they absorb energy and if we have relaxation it means they release energy or they produce color or we can call that they emit energy one thing I'm going to ask you to pay attention, when we say shell, we are going to talk about energy level. So energy level. Assume that we have like this example. Let me erase this and going to give you this example. Let me drop in the better form here. And here assume that we have two photons a and B a and B a transfer from shell number four to shell number two and B transfer from shell number four to shell number three please look here we talk about shells or energy level so whenever we are going to compare or we are going to study like this diagram, we need to talk about energy. So please remember that everything you are going to talk about in this diagram is energy, like energy level. That is why shell, we call them energy level. That is why I focused on this terminology in this video. So for A, electrons or photons are transferred from shell number four to shell number two this is a larger transition larger transition comparing by photon on the other example b this is the shorter transition shorter transition what does that mean it means for larger transition a is going to release higher amount of energy is going to produce higher amount of is going to release higher amount of energy comparing by B B is going to release lower amount of energy because this is a short transition so it means we talk about larger transition based on E based on energy and please remember that you just need to compare the numbers for as initial point and two as final point four through two so larger transition comparing by four goes to three shorter transition so larger transition means higher energy is released and shorter transition means lower energy is released if we are going to relate that one to wavelength wavelength so you are going to say higher energy means shorter wavelength and 
lower energy means longer wavelengths because energy and wavelengths are inversely proportional to each other. So for this example, I'm gonna write higher energy. Energy is higher and we have shorter wavelengths. For this example, we did have shorter transition. Guys, please remember, only energy. You just need to interpret based on the energy. So you may say lower energy or we are going to have longer wavelength. Longer wavelength. So please look at this slide. Again, I'm going to review all terminology we have. Excitation, it means electrons can travel from lower energy level to higher energy level. They absorb energy. How they absorb energy? We can put the elements, we can put our substance on the flame, or we have a high voltage uh, vacuum, high voltage. So they are going to be excited and go to higher energy level. And when they move to higher energy level, they need to back to the lower energy level because they are unstable. When they gonna back, they release energy. This releasing energy appears to us as light emission and we call that color. So it depends, it depends on the transition they're gonna back. We have a variety of color. Please look at this slide. You don't need to memorize any numbers you don't need to memorize any color and any transition this is only you are going to learn visually what does that mean so they are going to back from high energy level to low energy level always we have light emission so it means we are going to have color it depends on the transition longer transition like this or shorter transition like this we are going to have a different color longer transition it means i'm gonna write it here longer transition it means we have higher amount of energy produced higher amount of energy released it means shorter wavelength shorter wavelengths. Look at the wavelength here, 434 nanometer. And for this one, we have shorter transition, shorter transition in energy. Please remember, we talk about energy. Shorter transition in energy, it means we have longer wavelength, longer wavelength. And if you look at this number, this number, 657 in this case so longer wavelength it means we probably have short transition longer transition it means we are going to have a shorter wavelength so just wanted to make sure you get that one please watch this video one more time to understand the meaning of color by quantum model so this is the one method we are going to explain why do we have a variety of colors in different atoms in chemistry thank you for watching this video